Hey guys, welcome to another video. And shout out to user Hadad who submitted this problem for me to work out. So in this problem, we'll be finding the area enclosed by the following functions. So the first thing that I recommend to do whenever solving a problem like this is to plot these functions out so we can figure out how to exactly attack the integral. So let's go ahead and plot these out. Let's start with the parabola. So we've got a parabola, a parabola with a vertex of negative pi squared and it's got zeros of pi and negative pi and the reason why I know that is because if we set x equal to zero then we can solve this equation and we get plus or minus pi. So let's go ahead and draw the parabola through these points. So it'll look something like this. And now let's look at x equals sine of y so this is just going to be a normal sinusoid, except for instead of being oriented along the x-axis, it's going to be oriented along the y-axis. So for sine of y, we know that this function starts at 0, and it has zeros at every multiple of pi. So we'll have a 0 right here and a 0 right here. And when we go into the positive y direction, this function will have a positive value. So it will go like this and continue and when it goes in the negative it will look something like this. So from just plotting these two functions we've already found the intersection points which are at pi and negative pi and we can see that the area enclosed is, the, is this shaded region right here that I have in green. So we can set up the area as a double integral and all we need to do is find the limits and figure out which way to integrate first. Are we going to integrate with respect to x first or y first. So if we look at this a little longer we can see that we can draw a horizontal band along anywhere in this region and we see that the boundaries will always be defined by these two, by the difference of these two functions. So if we integrate horizontally or in the x direction first our limits can be defined as the parabola y squared minus pi squared to sine of y so we're going so we're integrating so we're integrating from here to here along any part of this region and then we integrate with respect to y and we're going to come all the way from negative pi and all the way up to pi so negative pi to pi and that will be in the y direction so all we have to do is evaluate this integral so let's consider this first integral right here and when we evaluate this, we get x, the integral of dx is just x, and then we plug in the limits. So what this becomes is the integral of negative pi to pi of sine of y minus y squared plus pi squared, where the negative distributed making that a positive, and dy. Now we can integrate this expression with respect to y. So the integral of, of sine of y is negative cosine of y minus one third y cubed using the power rule and plus pi squared times y and this will be evaluated from negative pi to pi. So let's go ahead and evaluate this expression now. Um, so when we plug in pi we get negative cosine of pi minus one third of pi cubed plus pi cubed and then minus, now let's plug in negative pi, negative cosine of negative pi minus one-third times negative pi cubed and plus pi squared times negative pi. So this expression right here can simplify to positive one and this expression right here cosine of negative pi is negative one and then take negative that which is positive one and here these guys combine to two-thirds pi cubed and over here, we get a positive pi cubed over 3 minus a pi cubed. So this evaluates to a negative 2 thirds pi cubed. So let's go ahead and write this in a simplified form. So we get 1 plus 2 thirds pi cubed minus 1 plus two-thirds pi cubed. And this is going to equal 
4 thirds pi cubed. So the area enclosed by these two functions is 4 thirds pi cubed. And if you guys have any more questions, continue sending them to me. I will continue making videos. Best of luck, and I will see you guys later.